My name is Ruben Kimani, CEO, Username Investment Limited, a leading property company in Kenya. I have three questions for you. How, what would you do if you had 230 million shillings? Question number two. How many of you, by raising their hands, say, uh, supported Germany in the last uh, World Cup that we just concluded? Question number three. How many of you have placed bets and won? Today we'd like to cover a very interesting topic and I'm trying to address millions of young people in Kenya about betting and you'd also like to compare it with tangible investment like real estate. I want to believe the content will help you, it will be convincing to you. This is Real Estate in Kenya with Ruben Kimani. What were the answers to my question? We'll be going to ask those questions as we go along. And uh, I would ask you to answer some of them yourselves. Uh, I would like to start with the stories um, and also start with the definition. What is gambling? What is betting? They are used interchangeably. I would like to define it. This is basically an activity or practice where you play a game of chance popularly known as pata potea, on, off. You don't have control over it. Um, in Kenya, we have a phenomena uh, called mobile sport betting, where millions are involved in it. I want to believe you might have tried it. That's why I ask, have you won the bets that you have put? How many have you? For the vast majority of uh, bettors or gaplers, this has been, uh, uh, they, they, they have made this an economic activity. They have been guided, they have deluded themselves into thinking this is an investment option. Whether you have real estate, gambling, no, it doesn't work like that. I want to believe you are lost. And we are here to try to find ways of convincing you to pursue other mechanisms. Uh, I'm trying to address many uh, young people in Kenya. And I'd like to start with some few statistics about World Cup uh, that has just been concluded from Geopol survey. Uh, this is an organization that did it. Very important. This is the one of the uh, te most technologically involving uh, 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 World Cups. And uh, some few statistics about that. We had a lot of views. To be specific, 393 million plays of matches as were successfully uh, streamed in this World Cup. Another statistics about um, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. 266 million people watch Premier League every year. Combine those statistics. There are statistics uh, that are related to, uh, to football and sports in Africa. Africa has one of the highest growing population. In Kenya, we have one million people every year being added to the population. In Africa, that figure is much bigger. The other phenomena that has happened, especially in Kenya, we have the biggest uh, mobile penetration uh, in Africa, according to statistics. And Africa as a whole has the biggest uh, mobile penetration growth in the world. So we have mobile penetration, and we have a big population of young people. Young people whose main activities, as we speak, is betting. Very sad for our country and very sad for African growth. Let's come back to Kenya. Few statistics uh, to be able to uh, give the magnitude of the challenge that we have. Seventy-six percent of young people in Kenya uh, are betting, as compared to fifty-seven percent in Uganda, forty-two percent in Ghana. Kenya, we are basically leading uh, from uh, from uh, from that point of view. Fifty-four percent of people young people between the age of 17 and 35 years are also betting. Very gloom. In terms of numbers, the amount you are spending from the, your pocket, this is basically the small amount you are making from your business, small amount that you are making from your salary. Every month, a young person is spending, spending an average of 5,000 shillings per month. That's not a joke. 5,000 sh shillings per month on betting. There's also an increase in uh, population of very young people 
who are betting between the age of 15 and 24 for the past uh, few years, which is also very scary because these are future generations. We have sad stories about a 13 year old who committed suicide in Kilifi, a university student who committed suicide in Kericho. I also know of a young person who lost his job in an investor shop. They basically used the float to bet, thinking that they can make double return their money, but it never worked. And the question about how many times have you on a bet comes into place. Most of the time you lose, you can't fight the system, you can't win against the system, even when you go to a casino. The biggest winners are in any betting situation is a betting company, and the one person against 5 million who wins the 230 million. The question about what did you do with 230 million? Some people would utilize it so well. But if you look at this guy who won the other day, then now, if you have been following news, he has nothing. Basically, what you need is not the 230 million. What you need are key values of accumulation of wealth, how to make money, financial literacy. Teach yourself values of hard work, values of persistence, values of investment. By the time you are 40, you will have made that money. If you are focused and you know what needs to be done, you will not be poor, you will be wealthy. Those are the things that we like to teach in this episode. We like to convince you. We like you to stop betting and consider other methods of investment. Some of the things that have happened in our country, just to give an overview, to give some of the uh, disadvantages of, of betting. And we are looking at amount spent and source of these uh, betting uh, funds. 5,000 uh, average for every young people. You look at all the young people in Kenya, those are billions of shillings. That's where you have so many adverts of betting. Everywhere you turn, they are making good money out of it, so much of it, maybe at your own expense. And we are trying to enlighten you and you can look into other methods of investment. The other thing is a question of moral obligations. This is Africa where we have so many young people. Africa actually has so many young population as compared to the other continent. We are the future. And because we are the future, we need to inculcate the right values. Values of investment, values of hard work, and the values uh, of tangible achievements. The moment you put your uh, 100 shillings, 200 shillings into a bet where it's, it, you are not sure, you do it over a period of time, you'll find a situation where in five years you not have a, a good home. Your kids might struggle to go to school. You may not be wealthy because this is a game of chances. So we would like to teach values of investment. We have various forms of investment. We have real estate, which is very straightforward, a lot of experience in it. I would tell you to find ways of getting into it. We have stocks, we have treasury bills, and other methods that are tangible and more informed. I would like also to maybe give you more about things that you can do, about options that you have on the table. And I would like to focus on real estate as compared uh, to, to, to gambling. This kind of gambling is a game of chances. You risk your money every time. You lose as many times as you win. So ni pata potea. And to be honest with you, most people lose. Most people lose the game. But they cannot be able to see that. But uh, for real estate, it is tangible. It comes with a sense of ownership. It teaches you the culture of hard work. And it teaches you genuine ways of making wealth. I would like to give an example and an illustration. Uh, if you are a young person earning 30 to 100,000, maybe even less than 30,000, you'll come to username investment. We have various properties. This one for 400,000. There's another one for 200,000 Kenyan children. Let us focus on the one for 200, so that you can know you have a place where you can start. You can come and realize with my money, I may not be able to own this property. We, we allow you to pay 15,000 per month over a period of one year. So if you realize you can do 15,000, by sacrificing a little for investment, please come to us. 
if you realize you can't, we should give an advice. There are so many circles around the country. The circle will tell you, we can give you three times, five times, even ten times your savings. A property worth 200,000, very fast calculation. Young people are very bright. You just need 20,000. 20,000, how long can it take you to save if you're earning 30,000? For six, in six months, 20,000 divided by six is 3,000. Say even 4,000 per month for the sake of acquiring a property. You join a circle, say for six months, six months you'll be ready to own this property worth 200,000. Then you can pay over a period of time. That's some of the hacks. And there are so many other hacks that I have not mentioned that you can find out and start accumulating your portfolio. In five years, if you can have like uh, say five property, one every year, it's a good resolution per year. That property will do several things to you. Number one, that property might pay for your master's degree. That property, you can settle there and you know that properties are expensive in our country. The other thing you can do, there's a colleague of mine who, whose father had invested a long time ago. He used to sell one acre of land, he pays the whole uh, year in campus. The following year, he looks for money or he sells another acre. Basically, this parent has invested for long. And I'm calling upon you. You have a young family. In five years, you'll need a place to call home. You need to educate your young ones with a uh, very good education. And you also need money for other things to grow in life. Basically, what I'm trying to say, if you want to have an assured life, if you want to be a millionaire at 40, there are things you can do separately. You just need to be persistent. You also need uh, to know, you, you are smart, you also need to know progressive methods that can be sure bets. The other thing is about uh, proof of money spent. We'll give you a title deed when you buy a property. And a title deed in this era where it is quite difficult to get a credit, a title deed comes in handy. You can give that title deed and you get a loan. These days is much more of a challenge to get an unsecured loan, unless you are in those big employment uh, uh, situations. So you need a title deed. The other thing you know you can't get approvals without title deed. So it also enables you to do that. When you do gambling, say for the next five years, you'll have no proof. Just be putting 100, 200, 5,000 per month. For some people, they are doing even 50,000. Don't joke of their income into gambling. They'll have nothing to show. Most likely, they'll have won nothing. The other thing is peace of mind. My friend in Kisumu, as he was taking me through a motorbike, he was agonizing. You could tell this guy is stressed. I gave a story about um, World Cup. I was asking you whether you are supporting Germany. The people who are supporting Germany, they are very convinced. They won. And I have friends who are supporting Germany, and you know them. And they were very convinced. Germany did not make it to the round of 16, as you all know. It was agonizing. Decided to move uh, to other uh, teams, like Spain. Uh, plane sprayed, sprayed, and at some point it exited. They decided now Argentina is the team to be. Messi is there. Did it work? They also exited at some point. They decided now uh, we are going to support Brazil. Brazil, green. So I had so many, especially in Brazil. After the team lost, most of them muted their accounts in face social media, Facebook. They never said anything. Some of them carried on and decided now we are team Belgium, our team England. It is coming back home. Did it work? Belgium, uh, England played so well. Uh, I think they lost at the semis. Lastly, they decided now is the time to go to Croatia. You know Croatia, the Basava uh, team, the, the Croatia supported us greatly uh, when we had an attack in Garissa. And most Kenyans were able to relate to the team. Uh, they went to Croatia. Croatia did so well, went to the finals. But eventually, who won? France won. For those who are in France, I salute you. But my point is, we you know these games over the World Cup, there were 64 matches. There are people who are putting their money in betting every time. There are people who lost so much money in it. 
It's a game of chance. Betting and gambling is supposed to be uh, a game that is played for fun, for leisure. It is not played as a form of investment. For those who did it for fun, well and good. For those who did it thinking that this is a way of making money, they lost big time. And that takes me to the last uh, challenge of uh, betting. It's about addiction. Addiction, you bet once, you feel you lose. You think, if I put 20 bob, I can recover the 10 bob I lost. Higher, you go to 50, you lose. If I put 100, I can recover the 50. You keep losing. It's, a, it's, a, it's an addiction. But today I would like to teach you a different method of addiction. Something else that can mean a lot to your life in five years. And I would like to teach the addiction of investment. I talked about a property worth 200 that a young person can be able to, uh, to, to acquire. Uh, there is also values. We've talked about values of uh, hard work. Values of planning yourself. Values of planning your work. I'm talking about sure bet. When you are 35 years, when you are 40 years, 45, 50 years. Things that you can do now that will ensure that you have a 100% chance of becoming a millionaire, of becoming wealthy, taking care of your family, and knowing that you have achieved. And these are the values of investment. You can do property. Property, for me, uh, is something that I can need a vouch for. You can start with land. We do affordable land in places that are growing very fast. If you are capable, there are those people can be able to do mortgages for houses, can be able to own a house in an area that is coming up. And in 5, 10, 15 years, a house that was worth 5 million or 4 million can go to 10 million. You basically make 6 million in a span of like 10 years. That's not so bad. If you can keep doing investment every year, assuming you buy a plot every year, or a real estate investment, maybe at some point you do a house. In the time you are 40, you have so many investments that are giving you rent that you have a lot of capital gain. As compared to every day, you go look at the newspaper at the, the back, and put, all you can do is put 100 there. At the end of the month, you can't tell what you have done. We have millions of young people in Kenya. We are the future of Kenya and Africa. That's what I believe, and I work very hard. We have a program, an awareness program in username, where we are trying our best to tell young people, you can come and do properties. If you are not able to do properties, consider other uh, forms of investment that you can engage in. And we are doing this actively every day. We want to believe by doing so, we are building our economy. We are the future of Kenya, the future of Africa. We have to know that we must invest. We must uh, have uh, and practice uh, values of hard work, determination, persistence. If you are doing a job somewhere, do it well. Most of you have been the internet where you see how other countries operate. Most of, for you who have an opportunity to travel, you have gone to first world countries. There people keep time. They obey simple things like traffic rules. When they are given jobs, they do it so well. As a young person, you can call yourself in a, in a small meeting. Ask yourself what you'd like to be at 40, at 35 years, and start working towards values that can get you there at that point in time. And I tell you, gambling is not one of them. I believe those points will drive you to go to a real estate company, ask those questions, know how you can engage from the beginning, look for properties that can grow, and in 10, in 5, 10, 15 years, we'll have a country full of people who can take care of themselves, people who are wealthy, people who are happy, people who are progressing. Our country will grow as a result. So I believe this uh, episode has been beneficial to you. I also believe you are more convinced. I would like to ask you to engage us. Uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, below. Uh, uh, leave your comments. We'd like to, you to ask questions. We'd be happy to answer them. Let's start a conversation, starting with ourselves, a conversation with our friends, a conversation in groups. Join an investment group and ensure you pursue study for investments. Thank you.